Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy's blog. I've been testing out the Samsung The Frame 4K QLED TV. I set up the 65 inch Samsung The Frame and this is new for 2022. It comes in a really wide variety of sizes. You can get almost any size in this TV, including 32 inches, 43 inches, 50 inches, 55 inches, 65 inches, 75 inches, and 85 inches. The main feature on this TV is that it has a matte display and it can double as a picture frame when you're not watching TV or movies. And as you can see, it has a very thin bezel and that bezel looks a lot like a picture frame. You can also choose different types of bezels and you can customize the color of your TV. To achieve the flush mount that is needed for this TV to look like a picture frame, you need to connect it to the Samsung One Connect box. So this is a box that holds all of the external ports, all of the HDMI ports, the USB ports, as well as any cable or ethernet that you'd like to plug into. There is one HDMI port, an HDMI 2.1, that is a 4K 120 hertz port. And there is one HDMI port that is e for your soundbar, so the eARC. This TV comes with the new solar cell remote control, so you can charge that remote with just the power of the sun, and it will last about two years on a full charge. But if you'd like to plug it in via USB-C, you can do that too. There is only one cable that plugs into the back of the TV and it is a very long clear cable so you can take the One Connect uh, box and you can place it anywhere away from the TV so it just doesn't interfere with the flush style, the flush picture mount. There is a mount included with this TV. It's called a no gap mount. And so it sits directly against your wall. I didn't mount it to my wall. I just used the included stand, but there's also another type of stand that you can purchase for this TV that makes it look like an art installation. Art mode is available on the menu bar on the left hand side. You can just access it with your remote control. You can scroll through all sorts of different types of art or look through the most popular art lists. Just keep in mind that you will have to subscribe to access all of the artwork and that is a yearly fee and it's part of the Samsung artwork store. You may choose this TV for the artwork, but it is a TV. It's a 4K UHD HDR QLED TV. So it does have a pretty amazing picture quality. You can adjust all of your settings within the menu and you just scroll down to settings and there's all sorts of different Samsung technology built in. You can adjust the, have the actually TV adjust for you um, adaptive light. So when it's brighter, it will dim and when it's darker, it will brighten up. There's different sound options that you can choose. And uh, there's the intelligent mode where it has a whole host of different features like eye comfort mode or uh, active voice amplification. This TV is running the Samsung Smart Hub as its main operating screen. So you get access to all sorts of different features there too, including using this as a computer display. You can plug in and use it as a display or a dual display and access your Microsoft Office apps just by logging in. This TV has AirPlay too, so you can stream from your Apple devices. You can also connect to the Google Assistant, Alexa or Bixby for voice control. And Samsung also has a cable TV system of sorts built into this TV and many other Samsung TVs from 2022. And you can choose from multiple channels. It's called Samsung TV Plus. So all you have to do is click on the icon for Samsung TV Plus and it'll open up a guidebook of different channels that you can choose from. All of your favorite apps will also be available on the Samsung Smart Hub screen, so you can tap into your Netflix, YouTube, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV, and more. Samsung The Frame also has the Samsung Game Bar, so you can access one screen, can give you access to all of your game consoles. All you have to do is plug them in and or log in with your account, and you can play all of the games that you play across different consoles and on your PC on one screen. And although it may look like a picture frame that you hang on your wall, this is actually a pretty good TV for gaming. We did plug in our PS5 and we played quite a few different games and uh, we noticed very minimal lag, very minimal delay of any kind. It has VRR, ALLM, as well as motion enhancement technology. So that will reduce the shake or any judder that's coming from between your console or your TV when you're gaming. 
when you're in the middle of a game, you can just pull down on the menu bar and you can adjust all of these settings on the fly. So you don't even have to exit your game to readjust your settings. Well, it's not an OLED TV, so it can't achieve true black. The colors really do pop on this TV. It's extremely bright. QLED has 100% color volume, so you never feel as though you're missing out. This TV even has motion sensing technology, so when you approach it, it will turn on, and when you're away from it, it will turn off. So that does save power when you're displaying artwork. And one of my favorite things about the TV is that you can display it vertically or horizontally. It's completely up to you. So if you'd like a vertical installation for, of art, then you can do that with this TV. The matte display on this TV is the most anti-reflective display I've actually ever seen. So it is pretty impressive in bright rooms. And I do love the artwork. I think that it's great that a TV can be dual purpose when you're not watching it. That's it for my look at Samsung The Frame. You can see my full review at Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching.